Hello Geomates, welcome to my channel at Easy Service, where I make survey practices easier and educative. Here in this video, I want to quickly introduce everyone to the best top 8 QGIS plugins that aid my mapping and analysis. Alright, so if you are just starting with the QGIS software as a beginner or even as a professional, this plugin is going to greatly help you in your mapping and analysis all right so to get started make sure your system is connected to an active internet and note this is the latest qgi software so if you want to get it freely check under the description or the comment section to download and install freely so to install the plugins all right the best eight plugins that usually it's my design and mapping with other analysis you come to plugins all right then you come to manage and install plugins you click on that so these are the plugins all right that is actually on the site so it is not yet installed it is just there so it is your duty for you to look for the uh, interested plugins to install incorporated with the qgis all right so if you click on installed you see these are the default plugins i have all right so you can choose to click and uninstall or do whatsoever things but for it to be uh the default that shows that it is important as well but other important updated plugins some of them they are outdated all right but the important updated plugins you can only find them under the all and they are yet to be installed so the number eight plugins that is very important that i majorly make use of is the raster tracer so you come to the search box then you type for raster tracer so here is the raster tracer you will click on it then you will click on install however before you click on install this this is the function of this raster tracer so this plugin allows users to automatically trace linear features of the underlying raster map simply by clicking on knots of lines or maps what this simply means is that the raster tracer is majorly used for digitizing so it is a digitizing tools when you are digitizing using the qgis you are going to be making use of this raster tracer plugin very very important all right so you click on the raster tracer then you click on install plugin so you can see above plugin installed successfully all right so when you click on your installed you are going to see the raster tracer there okay then you come back to all then you come to the search box then the number seven plugin i make use of as well is quick map services quick map services therefore here it is quick map services all right so you click on the quick map services plugin then you can see the function here it is easy to add base maps and geo services that is the function of the quick map services so then you click on install plugin so above here you are going to see it plugin installed successfully all right so if you come to install you are going to see it tick that shows that it is successfully installed then you come to all come to your search then the number six on the list is the qgis to well okay qgis to well so here it is qgis to well so this is the number six on the list so the function of this is to export an open layers or leaflet web map all right so that is the function of the qgis to web to export your project to an open layers or leaflet web map so you click on install plugin so good you can see plugin installed successfully all right so that is the uh, sixth on the list then the fifth on the list is the quick osm quick osm so here it is you click on it so basically this one is one of the most popular uh plugins all right so so it is popular the osm stands for open street map so it helps you 
integrate some additional features to your map like if you want to see the streets network the road networks within your study area this quick osm is a good to go plugin all right so you click on install plugin so above here plugin installed successfully all right then that is just that for the fifth for the fourth one the fourth plugin is the semi automatic classification semi automatic classification so here it is semi automatic classification plugin so this semi automatic classification plugin scp allows for the supervised classification of remote sensing images all right providing tools for the download the processing and post processing of images if you want to carry out your supervised uh, classification of land use land cover map of landsat images or sentinel images this tool plugin is very very important you will definitely need it so you need to install this plugin so above here you can see plugin installed successfully so if you are doing your image classification you will need the semi-automatic classification plugin please if you have watched this video to this extent do it to hit on the subscribe icon and please turn on the notification bell on this channel to keep getting first-hand notification when i keep releasing other videos in subsequent times thank you so that is the fourth plugin then the third best plugin is the geocoding the geocoding plugin So when you type geocoding you scroll down you are going to see it geocoding this is one of the best plugin i make use of so the function of the geocoding is to allow users to search for an address and get its coordinates so that is geocoding all right you will track locations then you are going to attach the coordinate of that locations all right so this can actually be used in google web services all right so you can pinpoint the address of a location anywhere in the world with the coordinates all right so this plugin automatically does that for you so you are going to be needing it as well as a professional or as a beginner so you click on install plugin so plugin installed successfully all right so you don't need to leave this the second uh plugin that is very very important is the hcmgis all right HCM GIS so you click on it so therefore the HCM GIS okay allow users to add these maps in form of vector in form of raster from Google all right from uh, cartographic maps from S3 maps from OS 10 as well and others also you can batch converting all right what that simply means is that you can convert CSV to point shape files and other GIS formats that is readable by GIS packages all right and also you can download your open data all right like from AOSM and other formats so that is the function of this plugin you will definitely need it as a geomatician as a GIS analyst very important so you click on install plugin then you can see plugin installed successfully so that is for that which is the second on the list then the number one on the list is the GEE that is the Google Earth Engine GEE all right so this plugin is very very important so when you type for Google you can just scroll down you are going to see it's Google Earth Engine all right therefore this plugin integrates the Google Earth Engine all right so it is already programmed because google earth engine is a website on its own for different statistical analysis all right but the qgis team they find a way to program this plugin this plugin can help you do your analysis directly with the qgis software so you can do your raster analysis your landsat classification dm all right and different form of analysis okay so this plugin is one of the best i love using it because it's really, really 
helps and aid my mapping and analysis this is the number one and the last best top plugins in QGIS all right so you click on install plugin therefore we are going to see this particular message that the plugin uses Google Earth API and it looks like it is not yet authenticated on this machine so all you have to do is to use your email account to open an account with the Google Ads engine website so you just click on OK it is going to redirect you to the uh, site so I already have an account if yours if you do not have an account you can click on use another account you are going to see an option like this so all you have to do is to input your email okay so let me just make use of this so you input your email all right so when you input your email make sure it's your email an active email then you click on next then you input the password to your email I'm going to see these messages so the Google Earth engine of Hotel will allow you to do the following all right so you just click on allow see Google Earth engine authorization successfully so all you have to do is to come back to your QGIS then if you see this particular prompt you click on OK so you can see the plugin is now going to install successfully all right successfully so that is how to install all right the best top eight plugins in qgis as a starter or as a professional so you can see my plugin is now updated therefore i can just go ahead to start mapping and doing all kind of analysis so you can see here if you come to your toolbar you are going to see some of the plugin updated already all right so if you find this video helpful and informative please do well to hit on the subscribe icon and turn on the notification bell on this channel to keep getting free valuable videos tutorial from this channel see you in the next video